At the age of 16, I went to the military. I went in with this, this thing that I was going to do good and have structure, you know, and make my mama proud, you know. But I just wasn't expecting the things that happened to me, being sexually abused in basic training, the repeated sexual trauma, having my innocence stolen from me, taken, taken from me. Taken from you against your will. Against my will. So I went throughout my whole life, you know, with this guilt because they told us, you know, we better not tell anybody or else it's going to ruin our life. You know, we're going to get a dishonorable discharge. Well, there you, and, go. you know, nobody would want to hire you. You couldn't get a job nowhere in the civilian world. You know, your life is going to be ruined. Heard that. You know, Send you great. back where you came from. Right. And so um, at the same time, I, I developed trust issues that I couldn't trust anybody, you know, especially men. Um, you know, I tried marriage and um, that didn't work out. I'm, I'm afraid to be with anybody else, and I can't get close to anybody intimately. I gotta do something about this. And I have the same okay. situation. For almost 20 years, I felt guilty that I was raped in the military. I couldn't look at myself in the mirror. That shame that you talked about, I understand. And you're gonna find someone that's looking for a stable, happy relationship. I pray for that, because they're gonna have to really be an understanding person. If you start loving yourself, you're gonna find that love. I promise you that. I hope to talk to you more about our experiences, yes. and you will get to that point where you're gonna be so proud that yes. you overcame. That's what I want. And let me tell you one more thing. I'm thankful that it happened to me, because I help a lot of people. I get messages almost on a daily basis that says, you helped me out. Olga actually says she was glad it happened. Now she has a strength she didn't know she had. She has a power she didn't know she had. Those are key components that I believe Maria needs in order to finally be free. I believe that there are times when God will put his hands on a person and the light on them is so great that the enemy will go after them to stop them before they become what they're supposed to be. Yes, yes. exactly. Because people are like, be careful what you say because the devil can hear you. I don't care if he can hear me. I want him to hear me. Because I want him to hear this, I survived.